Today we need to talk about Jungkook apparently getting the boot from fans. We need to talk about people saying that Jungkook got too sexual on a live stream and apparently him talking about the nasty. And then we have people who believe The Tonight Show might have some complaints. So hey dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Hate it or not, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on. Grab your little blue notes, hate spilling more merch, and let's go. Jungkook was recently on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon and people are freaking out. First off, these shows are such a hallmark and big deal in America. Of course, when a big K-pop idol or foreign celebrity appears on it, it will make it seem like that said celebrity has actually made it in life. Jungkook appearing on it also signifies his assimilation to US culture. We see Jungkook on the show speaking a ton of English and we see that his English has improved a lot. The interview was over 13 minutes long and of course some of it might be scripted. I do want to say that because that is something that people would bring up when they say these talk shows are authentic. You can see in some moments when Jungkook just finished speaking Korean, Jimmy actually reacts without a cut, meaning there was no translation being sent to him. So he either had to have been aware of what Jungkook would say or maybe he has an earpiece. The raw interview being possibly 13 or more minutes could mean that it wasn't as scripted as it could have been given that that would be so many English words for Jungkook to memorize. Not that he can't do it. He memorized an album, so maybe. It was very cute because towards the end of the segment, Jimmy asked Jungkook if Jungkook could show a Jimmy dance move. Jungkook ended up picking the specific dance move that resembles Michael Jackson, like the leg work and the crotch grab. People were talking about how Jungkook was 100% not shy about that crotch grab and was happy to do it. We can see from the video that Jimmy was entirely scared to even do it. And I don't think Jimmy was shy because he was scared to do a dance move. I think he is a comedian and has probably done other things, but he is probably more nervous given it's TV and there's a ton of restrictions when it comes to TV. For example, cursing is one, but things that are more raunchy or even things that imply raunchiness are things that are not even allowed. So you have an explicit version of a song and then the clean version sounds nothing like the explicit version. People were even scared that Jungkook may see a complaint about grabbing his crotch on national TV. However, this is not something that is considered too sexual or really in this case sexual at all. Jungkook's whole thing with this song is that it's supposed to honor and celebrate Michael Jackson. And of course, this is a move that he did a lot. In that sense, it's really not anything that is perverted or anything like that at all. It's simply just to honor the king and not meant to show how horny he is or whatever. When Jungkook was learning the move, he also likely did not learn the move with that intention in mind. It was simply a move that he probably thought Americans thought was cute and not a big deal. Which is why during the show, he wasn't ashamed to do it because he's like, this is not a big deal here. This is also the tonight show and not a daytime show. So the rules are a bit more relaxed. With a daytime show, there's more likely kids watching, so there's always a concern over what actually gets aired. However, not in this case. Jungkook, because he is doing more grown up things, people want to categorize him as rude. And not just sexually rude, but because people categorize older people as rude and too adult, I don't know. But Jungkook recently has had people talking about his appearance on Sushita. If you don't know what Suchita is, this is Suga's talk show. I don't know if Suga is going to continue this show during his military enlistment as I believe BTS members are allowed to work during the service and the majority of Suga's enlistments is going to be like as an office worker so he can definitely do his show after his 9 to 5 or work on another album or do whatever he needs to do. But I believe this episode with Suchita was pre-recorded. Jungkook was doing this segment and he was talking about his music and his journey. Of course, this is very important as he is attempting to promote everything. And then apparently Taeyang heard that Jungkook was going to be on set for Su Cha from the BTS group chat and decided to just show up and surprise everyone. Of course, if you know everyone on set and are very close to everyone on set, why not just show up and say hi to everyone? Tan decided to stop by and not only say hi, but actually appear in the episode a little bit. When Jungkook heard there was a quote unquote intruder on set, he asked who was there and was very surprised to hear that Tan had showed up. And after Suga mentioned Tan's appearance, Jungkook asked Tan to leave, saying that they're in the middle of a shoot and if Tan could leave. But Jungkook is saying this happily and smiling, so of course it's a joke. And Jungkook continues to ask Tan to leave because 
Jungkook and Suga are talking about very important things, such as Jungkook's music. People took this very much the wrong way. I am sure some of these people are solo fans of Taeyang and thus are very protective. Others are probably just haters of Jungkook and are constantly looking for a reason to cancel Jungkook. And I think it is very odd to call Jungkook rude and demand that he should no longer be a part of BTS because Jungkook and all the other members are very close, so they're clearly allowed to joke around and be jokey with each other. This is not prohibited and very much an allowed thing. I think this anger or this rudeness that is believed to be directed to other members comes from the fact that people think that Jungkook thinks that he is better than everyone. And this is such a big annoyance of mine. It's this idea that other people start to see someone as successful and all that, even if that person still doesn't see themselves in such a light. So then other people treat them differently even though nothing has changed. And I feel like with the recent overseas international success of Jungkook, this is what the fandom is doing. The members of BTS don't treat Jungkook any differently, but people expect that Jungkook be more humble or less himself because he is now successful, when in reality, no one should change how they are. Jungkook also being the youngest likely gets teased a lot, so he's just giving that back. Jungkook has talked about at length so many times in the past that he appreciates every single member of BTS and has grown up so much with their help, so he loves them and is allowed to tease any of them. But people can have their assumptions about whoever they want, and really the insecurity and the comments about someone changing after they're successful comes from insecurity, because the people around the successful person who are acting different start to feel like they are inadequate. And in this case, many fans feel like they are less than Jungkook now because they see him as actually famous now, when he was already rich and famous beyond our belief before going to the US. And being successful comes with its own set of issues. And the phrase, more money, more problems, is a real thing. Jungkook has a hard time understanding English, and I don't mean the words, because understanding the words is really only the surface level of a language. We don't use the same words and the same phrasing as they do in textbooks. In fact, most of our normal day-to-day -day language is not professional or to the book. We tend to talk with either an accent, we might exclude some words when speaking, and then other times we might talk in phrases like heartthrob or kill two birds with one stone. This is something that exists in all languages, and definitely not just English, but understanding these phrases can help someone better understand the culture and language. Jungkook was recently doing a sort of audio live stream, and he was going through all the questions. One question that was asked was if he was a top or a bottom. Of course, this is a more sexual question, a question that talks about the positions in a gay relationship, and that's all I'll say about that. Of course, for someone maybe coming from a more conservative background or culture, and then also someone who may not even be aware of gay culture, is probably not even going to assume that this is something that is a naughty question. In Korea, there likely isn't all this talk about gay intercourse as much as there had seem to be, at least in my high school, which is very weird now that I think about it. Jungkook answered that he was a top, and people went absolutely crazy with some people saying that he definitely would not have answered that question should he have known exactly what it meant. Jungkook likely thought this question meant, do you prefer to be at the top of your game or at the top of things, or if, or if you would prefer to be at a bottom and not as successful? And I can see that as a real question too. Maybe he interpreted that as, do you like to be successful? To which, of course, he said, yeah, who wouldn't want to be? People took this as Jungkook either admitting that he is gay or this is him talking about his favorite position in bed. While it is technically talking about that, that is definitely not his intention when answering such a question. And I agree with what other people are saying when they say that if he knew what this implied, he likely would not have answered it or read it. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thank you to this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.